How's it going guys? Today we're going to be installing the Op7 Aurora front grill kit for the car to match with the Demon Eyes. So me and Sang already got the bumper off from the last project so we're just going to get started on the grill kit. This one should be way faster than the other one considering it's more plug and play. So stick with us. Alright so we're going to start by getting this mounted up in place. We're going to be putting it underneath the fender here and thank god the Sang because I was going to have to mount it here and I thought it was going to look really ugly. Then run the wires and hit them to the positive and negative here. And then we'll start connecting up the LEDs. Once we connect the, or we're gonna put the LEDs in place and run their accessory extension lines, and then we'll uh, go from there. Right now we're thinking just one on top, one on bottom to hit all the grill, and then we'll probably do one on the engine bay. It'll leave me with one extra. Um, I don't really know where to put it yet, so I'm thinking about it. All right, so we 3M taped the little harness here, right underneath the fender right there. We tucked one of the control wires back for the LED that's gonna go up here. This wire is sort of like an auxiliary wire. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet or not, but I don't wanna get rid of it until I know. Pretty much what you can do is you can hook it up to the doors, and whenever you open the doors and the in interior lights come on, the grill will glow for a minute, and then it'll shut off. But um, I'm still sort of torn if I wanna do that or not. So the other ones are set up here so that we can run that way. Uh, if I want, I could turn one of these backwards if I need to, but it should be a good spot. We're just gonna double check, make sure the door doesn't hit it, or the hood doesn't hit it. And we're good. Alright, so now we're going to start mounting the uh, lights in their places and then we should be uh, able to start wiring that all in. Alright, so I'm going to start mounting the one on the top, just adhesive behind the back, it already came on it. Um, this system is a lot more plug and play than the diode dynamics. I do like the diode dynamics because it's RGBW. Um, if they had LED strips, I probably would have just asked for those instead of doing both of them. Two separate systems, but uh, the plug and play ability of the OP7 kit is pretty nice to have. So I'm just going to lay this under here, get as much of it exposed as I can. A little bit of coverage is going to get lost, but. All right, so we got all the lights installed. Two down. We put two on that one, one underneath, and then we got one above the engine. Uh, what I'm doing right now is because that wire is coming across, I'm actually doing a zip tie. I'm popping these rivets out. I'm putting a zip tie in, and then I can put the, pop, uh, the little pop rivet back into place. And you'll never notice it. I mean, you might notice this little black strip, and if people really give me crap for that, then, well, I'll go down the entire side of it and do them, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. We are good to go on that. Now we just got to work on tucking... Oh, this extra cable. Where are we going to put this? Somewhere in the fender. And we got the other one we're going to have to tuck still. Then we can wire it. But here's a quick little demo. Saying you want to work that remote for him. See how easy this one's going to be. I'm just literally going to hook it up to this negative. This positive, it has its own switch. And then boom. So again, it would be awesome if Diode had a, a kit that I could have wired up and had them both run on the same thing. But... This will, I'll be able to match it close enough. I'll, you know, I'll get it somewhat to where it's good. Maybe have them run opposite colors. Let me know what you guys think. Look at all that. I can fit them all in here. Like a squirrel grabbing nuts for the winter. All right, got the ground off. Gonna get that sort of set up in its place. Doom, 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 doom. Alright guys, so we got it all complete. Uh, this one is controlled by a remote control. They also have come with a little uh, like a fob for your keychain. It lets you do the four presets you have. So just click it on. See I got it on red right now. It's got less color options than the diode dynamics. Uh, not having the wheel color wheel and whatnot. But um, I think it's going to look pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, especially for the, the price of this. I think it's like usually 40 bucks or 50 bucks for the 24 or four 24 inch strips. So it's something pretty cool if you go to car shows, stuff like that. That's what I, I did this for, the Demon Eyes and that. It's just for car shows, stuff like that, to make it pop a little more. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to get the bumper on, wait till nighttime, and give you guys some final shots. So here we go. And to see my full video on how to get this bumper off, make sure you check out my splitter install video. It's a pretty good one. 
Yeah, I know. All right, guys, it's completed. Demonize and the grill lights all done. Op7 grill lights and then the Diode Dynamics Demonize set. Really like the way it turned out. I uh, wish I could have had just one module, but this definitely works. If uh, I don't know which one I would go with, to be honest. If uh, if Diode made a grill set or if Op7 made a Demon Eye, which one I would convert to. Uh, I think I'd probably do the, the Diode just because I, I know their qualities really well. And I'm not knocking Op7, it's just, you know, their, their price are a little cheaper. So I could imagine the quality down the road is going to probably not last as long. Maybe the adhesive and stuff like that. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down below. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. Still have that. 500 subscriber giveaway going on right now so oh man there's just so many pictures i'm able to take with this this is going to be sick but yeah guys really really happy about this uh i think i'm probably the first person to, be able to get those demon eyes in without having to uh split the case of the the lens i'm not 100 sure can't guarantee that but it was definitely a fun project so thanks a lot guys have a good one